Okay, uh, welcome back to Pastor Josh Smith's Josh Smith's Overall Forge. I am Pastor Josh. Um, today is a mail call. Uh, I have two packages, one that came yesterday and the other one that just came in the mail today. And uh, the first one is from uh, Billy and Rhonda Strong from Strong's Adventures. And uh, they reached out to us the other day and said that they wanted to help out with our efforts for uh, making our trip to Alabama for this ministry trip. And uh, so they said they were going to send us some stuff in the mail, ask for our address. So uh, Billy and Rhonda, thank you so much for your gift. We appreciate it. Um, and in their package that they sent to us, because they know that I am a fan of Alabama, um, they sent us this little decal that we can put on the car or whatever. Um, and then another decal that's uh, roll tie. Yeah, roll tie. Um, that's another decal that we can put on the car. And I am planning on cleaning the windows of our car and putting them on our car. Um, but then they sent us a pretty little card as well that Billy and Ron, I'm just going to tell you right now, when Becky opened up the card yesterday, she was very impressed that, uh, and I'll just go ahead and show you all on the camera right now, the uh, inside of the envelope is decorated. And because the inside of the envelope was decorated Becky just thought that was just adorable and cute as could be and awesome that uh, the inside of the envelope was decorated so um, they sent us a pretty little card decorated kind of like the inside of the envelope and said uh, Josh and Becky we know this is not much but we hope it will help with your trip love Billy and Rhonda we appreciate it very much it was a very generous gift thank you and then they also, and this is really cool to me, they also sent us one of their channel stickers. So uh, y'all check out uh, Strong's Adventures uh, on YouTube. Just look them up. Billy and Rhonda do a really great channel. They do a lot of um, cast iron cooking. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I'll put I'll put a link to their uh, channel in the description of this video. Um, y'all check them out. They they do. A really really cool video series of cast iron cooking over a um, outdoor charcoal fire uh, they do a lot of Dutch oven cooking and things like that so um, really really fun. yummy food um, and a lot of fun and just cute and good recipes too so anyway uh, check them out we but I just y'all I really really just love this little picture uh, for their channel sticker it's just cute as can be. So uh, check them out. So that was our first package. Second package, any of y'all that know Mr. Alan Schoenert, he's just a, a good egg. He's a wonderful guy. He sent this box. And I, I'm just going to be honest, I haven't looked in the box yet, but just to save time because sometimes Alan's tape jobs can be pretty impressive. So I went ahead and pre-opened the box. And I know some of what's in here because he told me uh, some of the things that he was going to send. And so I'm excited to look through here. Oh, wow, Alan. These are great. So um, some of y'all that may have seen uh, Randy Newt's uh, leathersmithing uh, and, and metalworking, um, he just did a unboxing yesterday that he got a, a pair of these uh, it's a pair of wolf jaw tongs Alan made these and you know what man these these are really good they're smooth action uh, they're really good I mean they feel real good in the hand um, and I'll be honest with you guys the reason for these tongs that he sent these to me was so that I can take them with me to Alabama because uh, one of my cousins her son, when I was there in November, 
uh, I found out that he is very interested in blacksmithing. And so when we go to Alabama on this trip, I am going to take the ingredients to be able to uh, help him to build a coffee can forge uh, and walk him through the process of making it so that he understands how it's made so that he can, as it needs to be relined, he can know how to do it. Uh, but this will be able to get him started in forging. Uh, and I'm going to take him, Mr. John Coffey sent me my first anvil. He sent me a railroad track anvil. Uh, that was my first anvil and was a great anvil for me. I loved it very, very much. And so now that I have my 70-pound uh, um, NC standard farrier's anvil, uh, and it is just a great anvil for me, I decided, you know what, how can I forge it forward to use that railroad track anvil to help somebody else out. So, my cousin's son wants to get into this, so I am taking him an anvil so that he has an anvil to work on as well. Um, and we'll be getting all of that on Yeah, film. and we will be getting that on film so that y'all can see him get his packages and, and all that. I'm going to be taking uh, the my forge with us as well on the trip. So that while I'm there, after I have put his forge together, we don't have to wait for um, we don't have to wait for his to cure before we can actually forge a little bit. I'm going to bring my forge with me so that we can actually forge a little bit together, and he can actually see what it's like to actually move some steel, and uh, I can teach him some safety tips and things like that um, to get him started on this task and this beautiful craft but I was talking to Alan I said you know what I'm taking him a an anvil and I'm taking him uh, a forge well the ingredients to make him a forge and I'm gonna take him a hammer but I just didn't have any extra tongs to take him and I said Alan in all of your looking around at tongs and stuff you don't happen to have some tongs that I could take him do you and he said, you know what, I, I actually do, I can, I'm working on making some right now, let me make him some. So he made him a pair of wolf jaw tongs, something that will be good for just an all-around um, type of work. He can grab onto all sorts of different things with, the, with this pair of wolf jaw tongs. So that was the first thing in this package. Let's dig for the second thing in this package. Hey, I feel something else. Okay. So this is package number two that I was expecting uh, because this goes right along with the tongs that we just showed you. Um, he also, because of the fact that my nephew's father, or I'm sorry, my cousin's son's father works for the railroad, um, I know that he can probably get uh, railroad spikes on a fairly easy basis to be able to uh, work on spikes. It'll be something that he can make some little railroad spike knives. He can make some decorative stuff. He can just learn how to work with metal uh, on something that is a known, uh, at least easily, uh, easily acquired steel for him. So Alan made a pair of railroad spike tongs that uh, these will work just great. Alan, they are just like the wolf jaw tongs, they're smooth action. Uh, the riveting is nice and, and solid in here. So that uh, these will be a good pair of tongs for him to be able to use with railroad spikes. So, continuing on. Because there's more in the box. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I feel a handle. Oh, yay, this is... Okay, I know what this is. I'm excited about this. This is for me. You're excited about that? I'm, I'm excited about this. This is for me. So, I was asking Alan if he could be on the lookout for a flatter for me. Um, something that I could be able to use to get some of my work flatter. Get some of the, the hammer marks out of it. Get it nice and uniform, smooth, flat. And he looked around a little bit and he just reached into one of his piles of all of his awesome tools and stuff and pulls out this piece that had a big old rubber 
thing on the end of it yeah. and he pulls that rubber thing off and then he says you think this will work and, man this is awesome alan i appreciate this man this is going to work great um yeah this is this is really cool thank you uh i'm excited to uh it looks like he handled this i'm assuming um maybe maybe not i mean Looks like the ham the handles had some wear on it, but uh, man, it, this is this will be a really good flatter for me to be able to whack on and, and get some good good level work done. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. But okay, there's still more in the box. I felt more. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like a carpet bag. Yeah, it's like a carpet bag. This keeps giving and giving and giving. Okay, Alan talked to me about this too. I asked him to be on the lookout for me. Uh, I have decided that, and this is, I'm sorry, what? Oh, <laughs> I, I had decided on a project that I'm going to do for me, get ambitious later on down the line, uh, after I finish some of the projects that I'm working on right now, because as... Uh, I saw in the birthday video part two for uh, Drayson, for uh, JT Barrett, for his birthday video, uh, who was it? James Duncan, Sprinkle Donut Forge, sent him a, a little round to it uh, so that he can eventually get round to it. Um, once I get around to it, uh, I will uh, get to this. I was looking for some 01 steel that I know, and I'm, I'm just prefacing, I know the comments are going to come. I know that this is a very temperamental beast. It is hard, what, what's the expression that uh, James Duncan uses? Hard as woodpecker lips, <laughs> uh, as that far as material goes. Go. So I know this is going to be hard to move. But my plan with this is to flatten this out, and I'm going to make a Tonto-style mini sword. Uh, I, I want to draw flatten this thing out and draw it out, and I'm going to research and find out exactly how the traditional handle uh, is designed for the tang and everything so that I can handle it traditionally and I'm going to make myself a sword. Um, I, I'm excited to eventually get around to this and I wanted something that would be a good high quality steel to be able to make that out of. So that's what I'm going to do with this and I was looking for 01 and I said hey um, I don't really necessarily want to just do stock removal, so uh, I need to find some 01 that I can forge. So, Alan, can you help me locate some 01 in your searching around? And he said, hey, I actually uh, found some. And he, I think he said he found this in three foot lengths. And he said, how much you want? I said, I, about a foot or so. And so he chopped it off for me. And uh, he told me that he could flatten it out for me if I wanted him to, but that'll that'll be part of the work for me, that I'll be able to learn how this steel moves, learn the heat that I need to get it up to to move it. So uh, I'm excited to work with this eventually, and when I start this project, I will take video along the way. I will let you guys in on the process of making this and handling it traditionally and all of that kind of stuff because I want this to be a legitimate real sword. Um, I, I want this to be a really cool piece that um, will be very functional to be able to cut things with but will also be a work of art uh, and I, I will go the route of um, and probably get lots and lots of advice from Heath Helliger because he loves it now uh, on hand sanding. Uh, I will hand sand this down to where it is a beautiful piece that will be 
basically a mirror mirror finish when it's done. So um, I'm excited about that. Excited to see what can happen with this. So uh, that is the end of the mail call. Uh, thank you so much, Alan. Alan Schooner, a.k.a. Rusty Hubcat Forge. I will attach a link in the description of this video. His uh, channel, he doesn't really have very much on the channel, but uh, y'all give him some love. Send him some, some subscribers or whatever so that maybe if you encourage him, he will start making some videos because I tell you what, guys, Alan, if you are not following his stuff on Facebook, he has been making hammers that are pretty stinking amazing looking. I mean, they're beautiful hammers, and, and he's just getting started on it, and the quality of work that he does is amazing. He makes the beautiful uh, mallets that he has been sending around uh, to Roy from Christ Centered Ironworks, just did a review on the dishing mallets that he did for him. Um, I have one of his big it's not here, it's, it's out in the shop, otherwise I'd, I'd show you. Uh, but I have one of his big square mallets that I've been putting the thing through its paces out in the shop. In fact, I'm going to be using it here in a little bit when I get out in the shop. But guys, check his stuff out. Maybe if you encourage him, he will start doing some videos, uh, letting you in on the process of what he's doing. Because man, oh man, oh man, Alan has some good stuff. Uh, that he puts out and does some amazing work. So, um, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Billy and Rhonda, for your uh, generous gift and your gifts of Bama gear and uh, 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 Strong's Adventure sticker. We will definitely um, just proudly um, show those, proudly uh, place them in prominence so that we can pr promote your site as well so um check them out guys thank you for watching uh god bless you and uh get out there and forge something or or do something creative with your life god bless bye